study were 40 random MHS students. The factors were the dress shirt and the response variable is the time to button and unbutton the shirt. This is our box plot for hand length centimeters. It's center it has a center median of center median of 17.85. The shape is roughly symmetric. It has a spread of, or spread IQR of 1.35. It has a gap from 19.8 all the way to 21.2 and it has an outlier at 21.2. Our five number summary is 16.4, 17.15, 17.85, 18.5, and 19.8. Uh, good morning class. Good morning. Excuse me. Yes, there is a 30 to 1 ratio here, so you need to stop talking, please, because um, uh, you need to listen to me. Okay? Okay? You good? Okay. Okay. So this is the graph, and as you can see here, we get... Whoa! Excuse me, Josh! Please! Please! So this is our box plot for the time it took to button and unbutton a t-shirt in seconds. So for the box plot, it has a center of 35.8. Um, the shape is symmetric. The spread has an IQR of 13.8 with no outliers or gaps. And the five number summary is 19.3, 29.8, 35.8, 43.9, 58.5. Based on our data, for our y-intercept, we got 142.5, and for our slope, we got negative 5.935. Our r-squared is 0.43, and our r is negative 0.65. With this information, we can make our equation to be <laughs> the predicted time is equal to 142.5 minus 5.935 times the hand length. Your association, please. There is a moderate, linear, and negative association between the time it takes to button and unbutton a t-shirt and how large your hand is. Anything you'd like to add, Ma Madison, Mayor Algo? Um, 
Well, based on both box plots, because they're fairly symmetric, we can mm. conclude that most of our data accurately represents the MHS student population. To conclude, our observational study showed us that if you have a bigger hand, the faster you can button and unbutton a t-shirt. So the confounding variable is gender because girls are used to the buttons being on the left side due to the shirt being made for men. Here we go.